Uh, so today we're planting woodland out onto the floodplain of this particular tributary. The value of this woodland is going to be slowing the flow of the water. It will increase the storage capacity. So it's going to increase the roughness of the floodplain to so hold the water back. It's also going to act in terms of water quality improvements. So it's going to trap sediment, also increase infiltration rates to stop runoff going into the main river itself. So the planting today, we're actually planting without any tree guards. So we're going to try and experiment and plant at a higher density. And we're basically experimenting across this farm. So we've already done some planting further up the stream with your standard density and also using standard commercial protection. We've also got sections, so the other side of the riverbanks left for natural regen. So we've got kind of three kind of models on this site which we're going to be monitoring over the coming years to see what the success rate is, what the kind of species mix we're getting and what is the most effective method for kind of moving out into the wider catchment. So in terms of the, the farm here itself, we've been working with the, the landowners here for over the last three years. Uh, we've done a combination of measures such as the riparian planting that we're doing today. We've also done cross slope hedgerows which are intercept surface water flows and increase infiltration rates. Um, we've also done some breaches of the, the river bank that's been developing over the years. We've also increased storage capacity on that floodplain by creating some scrapes. We've got one behind us here. The scrapes also act um, outside of normal flood conditions, intercepting surface water flow as well. So actually storing water before it's getting into the river system and then slowly percolating through the catchment. So as well as being very particular about the species that we've planted out today, we've also been really particular about where we've sourced those plants. So the plants that we've got today are UK seed and UK grown stock and where possible we've got local province. Another particular plant that we're planting out today is black poplar. Uh, the black poplar is coming from the Sussex Black Poplar Project, which is a project being run by Sussex Wildlife Trust in partnership with Kew. Uh, started about 25 years ago, uh, at which time we only had 38 black poplar within Sussex. Uh, they found out that of those 38, there were only five genetic individuals within that population, three of which were male, two of which were female. So over the last 25 years, Sussex Wildlife Trust has been working with Kew to propagate cuttings from those individuals and repopulate the Sussex County. Uh, over the last 25 years, we've planted over 6,000 trees across Sussex and today we've planted out an, an additional 25 using uh, the offspring from those original cuttings.